Greetings on this rainy Thursday morning. Uh, this is, of course, the day that we remember th that it's the day before uh, Jesus was crucified. And we know that he went willingly, but when we really think about the things that he went through just before, uh, it really makes us extra grateful that he was willing to do that for us. So this morning as we pray and we ask God to bring an end to this virus and protect our family and our friends, we also need to remember that Jesus also went through things. Um, he went through struggles. He went through anguish. He went through the thoughts and emotions that we went through. Uh, we do not have a God and a best friend that hasn't been through it and doesn't understand us. So I'm very grateful for that this morning. And as we pray, uh, I just want to pray for all of us that we remember that and that we do seek to get closer to him and understand him more, just like he sought to understand us more. All right, so let's, uh, let's just go to God in prayer and bring our needs before him today. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Lord, that you send rain when it's needed and you send sun when it's needed. And thank you most of all today as I, I think and I remember that you came and you lived a perfect life and you were the only one who really, you were the only one who could restore fellowship for us. You're the only one who could live that sin sinless life. You're the only one that could be tempted and resist the temptations. I uh, thank you, Lord, that you went that step for us, that you came and that you went through the anguish that you went through. Um, I wouldn't wish that on you, but I thank you for it because it was necessary. I thank you, Lord, that you loved us so much that you were willing to go through all that. Thank you, Lord, for giving us communion. Thank you, Lord, that we have opportunities to remember what you did and to share in that and remember your broken body and your blood. And I pray, Lord, for us to always keep in mind that you've gone through things with us and that you understand when we go through hard things because you went through the hardest thing. God, I pray that you would help us to be able to recognize you and see you more in our lives. I pray, Lord, that you would help us to be able to reach out to other people just like you reached out to us. Lord, I pray that you would uh, be our healer as you've promised, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you are our healer, and I pray for those right now who are struggling with the COVID-19, but also that are struggling with cancer, that are struggling with many, many other diseases and sicknesses and injuries. And I just pray for them right now and ask, Lord, for your healing to be upon them. I pray, Lord, for those that are in the medical profession who are uh, probably getting tired and, and weary, Lord. I pray for encouragement for them, Lord. I pray, Lord, for uh, those who are being helpers at this time, Lord. I pray, Lord, for those who are feeling depressed or, or anxious, Lord, that you would bring them through that. I pray, Lord, for those in the military. I pray, Lord, for those who uh, just are missing time with their family. I pray, Lord, for those who are stressed because of too much time with uh, specific people that are difficult for them to be around. I pray, Lord, for those who are are struggling in any way. I thank you, Lord, because you've been through all of those th things. You've been through loneliness. You've been through the crowds. You've been through uh, so much of what we've gone through, if we just really think about it. And I thank you that we, we serve a, a, a risen Savior, Lord, that we don't have to have no hope, but we have hope in you, and we have hope in knowing that not only did you die for us, but that you were resurrected. And I thank you and I praise you that we can just turn to you and that when we turn to you, that you promise to forgive us, that you promise a hope of heaven where there is no sickness, there are no tears, 
there are no viruses, there's nothing that can stand between us and you and our loved ones and we just thank you and praise you that you made a way for us. And I pray, Lord, for each and every one of my wonderful, dear LCA kids and families. I pray that you bless them, that you encourage them, that you give them the strength that they need for whatever they're going through right now, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you would uh, touch the families too, Lord, for the moms and the dads and just everyone that's connected with LCA. I pray for the teachers that are missing their students, both at LCA and other places, Lord. I pray, Lord, for, um, I pray for your blessings, and I pray, Lord, that you would help us to see them, that you would show us something beautiful today and give us encouragement. I thank you, Lord God, that even now you've put a still in the rain and that I hear that it has stopped. And I pray, Lord, that you would put a stillness and a calmness over our country, Lord, that you would bring an end to this virus, that you'd bring an end to the quarantines, and that you would bring us all back together very soon. In Jesus' name, amen.